started. Hi, I'm Henry Ford. We've made this is one of the cars. The car, this is one of the cars we made in 20 years. We made five million cars in the last 20 years. And all this can be yours. Why don't we go into the factory and see how it's made? Welcome to my factory. No, no, not me! No, no, no! What are you doing? You got it wrong! Here's one of our specialists, our network. See how much he does? He's building the chassis of one of our newest car models, isn't that right? He's been working for 12 hours all day. This may not look like the cars you've been seeing in the newspapers or around town, but this is our newest model. And you know what? Let's see what one of our prize customers thinks. Uh, what is this? It's uh, one of our newest cars. It doesn't look anything like it looks in the poster. Well, how much is it? Uh, $950. $950? This is too much money! Are you crazy? This dumb thing. It's a waste of money. It took too long to make. Screw up that commercial. No one's gonna buy these cars. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I mean, Get back to work. work. I mean, what do you think you don't talk? talk about? About? Hi, where am I? Henry Ford, this is my factory, what do you want? My name is Frederick Taylor. I've been waiting for you. Uh, come on in. Oh, thank you. Just make yourself comfortable. So this is the famous Henry Ford factory. How long have you been working, little guy? Twelve hours to be exact. Make the chassis. Make the chassis. Make the chassis. Make the chassis. How long does this going to cost? Nine hundred fifty dollars. For this thing? I had to talk to you in private. Now listen here, Henry Ford. I only did that voice out there so as not to upset your underpaid and overworked uh, laborer. Now you need to listen to me. I've come up with a new method of the labor. What are you trying to say? I'm talking about Taylorism. Hey, I'm down here. Split up the job, you can do it twice or even three times as fast. Named after myself. I don't get it. How does it work? You get a bunch of uns... Hey. Huh? You get a bunch of unskilled laborers and you put them together to each do a simple task, making one big job much easier. You talking about assembly lines? Well, I was going to say... Well, I was going to say tailor line, but uh, that works just as well. You're right. I could just separate the jobs into easy jobs that any idiot can do. I don't think any specialists. That's right. You can even switch out the people whenever you need to and pay them less. You go so fast on making them more money. Just helping out. Hey, Jonah, you're fired. Very good. Very good. How much are we getting paid? Five cents an hour. I heard the other guy was getting paid 40 cents an hour. What gives? <laughs> well, if one of you was doing this, it would be a lot harder, but since two of you are doing it, you get paid less, but it's an easier job. Welcome to the assembly line. That's not fair. 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 Okay. 
why am I here again? It was just too expensive, so why am I here? Guess how much it cost now? Uh, 500 bucks. Yes, it did. 400 bucks. It's actually 250 bucks. 250 dollars? Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I'll take it. Wow! It's a buy! It's, it's, it's fantastic. As the steel industry rose in the 1870s, a need for lubricant resulted in a booming new industry, petroleum. Pretty soon, oil was the fourth highest export from the United States. People pretty quickly found out that there were plenty of other uses for oil. In the 60s, this German nerd named Nikolaus August Otto made a gas-powered four-stroke engine. Didn't really take off until some other nerd named Gottfried Dane Daimler perfected one to be used in automobiles. May have been like one or two crummy cars made before my time, but I built the best, and I couldn't have done it without you! In 1896, I made the first of my famous forts using all American steel and oil. By 1917, there were nearly five million of these bad boys zip dip dipping all across the country. I was filthy rich, loving every minute. Go America! I'm Frederick Taylor, and I approve this message.